pressure vessel. So let's first understand what exactly is pressure vessel and what we are going to learn in this chapter. In this chapter, we are going to learn what we are going to learn exactly. First, let's understand this. Okay. So what do we mean by pressure vessel? So it is made of two words, pressure and vessel. So vessel is what happens? In general sense, vessel is anything which is used to store something, right? कुछ store करने के लिए कोई बर्तन या कुछ ऐसा अगर आप use कर रहे हो, then it is known as a vessel, right? Now pressure vessel means what? Pressure vessel means a vessel which is subjected to pressure. Why it will be subjected to pressure? Obviously, it is storing something at high pressure. That's why it is subjected to pressure, right? For example, can you give me a practical example of a pressure vessel? Can you give me a practical example of a vessel which is subjected to high pressure, which is storing something at high pressure? Bida, apne ghar pe dekhi, aas paas dekhi, you will find lots and lots of pressure vessel. The first example of pressure vessel in your household is LPG cylinder, right? The LPG cylinder that you use to cook food is an example of a pressure vessel because it is storing LPG at high pressure, right? Inside the cylinder, there is LPG at high pressure. Yes, the second example can be boiler. The boilers at power plants are another example of pressure vessels because the steam inside the boiler is at high pressure, above atmospheric pressure. Yes, pressure cooker is also an example of a pressure vessel. Storage tanks. Oxygen cylinders, nitrogen cylinders, storage tanks of these gases, they are all pressure vessels because they are storing liquid or gas under high pressure, right? Yes. So, beta, all of these are the examples of pressure vessel. Now, pressure vessel can be subjected to internal pressure, it can be subjected to external pressure, it can also be subjected to internal as well as external pressure, right? Internal pressure means the pressure is acting from the inside. So all these examples that we have discussed are the examples of internal pressure because the liquid is inside the cylinder. It is applying the pressure from inside. It is applying the pressure on the inner wall. Okay. The example of external pressure will be if you keep the vessel within a fluid, if you submerge the vessel in a fluid, then the fluid will apply pressure from the outside. So that will be an example of external pressure. So external pressure kab lagega agar aap vessel ko kisi fluid mein submerge kar dein. For example, scuba diving. During the scuba diving, the oxygen cylinders, they are subjected to internal pressure as well as external pressure, right? There is a fluid inside, there is a fluid outside. So beta, it is an example of internal as well as an external pressure, okay? Chale, yes, submarine. It is also an example of external pressure, right? Yes. So, beta, all these examples are the examples of pressure vessels. Now, we can divide the pressure vessels into two categories. We can divide the pressure vessels into two categories. Pressure vessels can be thin and pressure vessels can be thick. Now, what do we mean by thin or thick pressure vessel? Let's understand. Let's say this is the cross section of a pressure vessel. Maan lije, ye ek pressure vessel ka cross section hai. Okay. Let's say this is the cross section of a pressure vessel. Now, why I am considering it to be hollow? Aray beba. If it is hollow, then only it will be able to store the fluid inside it, right? So, we have a hollow cross section. We have a we have the cross section of a hollow cylinder or hollow sphere. ठीक है? Cylinder भी हो सकता है, sphere भी हो सकता है. Now बेटा, let's say that this is the internal diameter of the cylinder and this is the thickness of the cylinder. ठीक है? ये internal diameter है cylinder का और ये thickness है cylinder की. Okay? Now, based on the wall thickness, we will call it a thin pressure vessel or a thick pressure vessel. Wall thickness kitna hai? Bhoat kam hai? Bhoat zada hai? Based on that, we will call it a thin pressure vessel or a thick pressure vessel. Now, beta, you have to tell me a value, right? Aapko ek value batani padegi that if the wall thickness is this much or that much, based on that, we will decide 
whether it is a thin pressure vessel or a thick pressure vessel. Now, beta, if you are thinking why we need a thin or a thick pressure vessel, अगर हमें हमें जरूरत क्या है, हमारे पास अलग-अलग type के pressure vessel क्यों हैं, then beta understand this based on the internal pressure. How much internal pressure you need to store, you will decide how much thickness do you need, right? अगर आपको बहुत ज़्यादा pressure पे fluid को store करना है, if you want to store the fluid at a very high pressure, then the thickness must be very high. And if you don't want to store the liquid at very high pressure, only slightly above atmospheric pressure, 1 megapascal, 2 megapascal, maximum 5 megapascal, then you don't need that much thickness. Then you can keep the thickness low, right? So the thickness of the vessel will depend upon the internal or external pressure, how much pressure it will sustain, right? Now, if the thickness of the cylinder, agar cylinder ki thickness, if it is less than or equal to D by 20, then it will be called as a thin pressure vessel. And if the thickness is greater than D by 20, then it will be called as a thick pressure vessel. Although this number is not fixed, you will find this number varying in different books. Some authors use 15, some authors use 20. So there are different numbers. So I can't fix the number. but it can approximately let you know that, okay, thin pressure vessels means the thickness must be in this range. Thick pressure vessel means the thickness must be in this range. For example, if the diameter is 100 mm, maan lije 100 mm diameter hai, then what should be the thickness to be called it as a thin pressure vessel? If the thickness is less than or equal to 5 mm, agar 100 mm dia ki cross section ki vessel hai, तो अगर 5 mm या उससे कम थिकनेस है तो हम उसको बोलेंगे थिन प्रेशर वेसल बट इफ द थिकनेस इज ग्रेटर देन 5 mm 10 15 20 mm थिकनेस देन इट विल बी कॉल्ड एज अ थिक प्रेशर वेसल ओके सो यस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द वॉल थिकनेस वी विल कॉल इट थिन और थिक नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज व्हाई एग्जैक्टली आर वी डिवाइडिंग दिस प्रेशर वेसल इनटू टू कैटेगरीज राइट just because the thickness is low, just because the thickness is high, we are not going to categorize it. There must be something in their analysis, right? Unke analysis mein kuch difference hona chahiye. Tabhi to dono ko alag alag category mein rakh rahe hai. Varna sirf naam ke liye hum dono ko alag alag category mein kyun rakhenge? Hum usko pressure vessel bolenge aur usko solve karenge chup cha. So, beta, if you are putting them into different categories, it means the analysis of both these pressure vessels are different. So let's understand what exactly is different in case of thin and thick pressure vessel. ठीक है, thin और thick pressure vessel में difference क्या है? ये समझते हैं, okay? This is not the difference. This is the method of differentiating them. ये difference थोड़ी है, ये तो एक तरीका है दोनों को अलग करने का कि इसको thin बोलेंगे, इसको thick बोलें. This is the criteria of being a thin or thick pressure vessel. This is not the difference between thin and thick pressure vessel. अगर आपसे कोई पूछे कि what is the difference between thin and thick pressure vessel, you will not say कि इसकी thickness कम होती है, इसकी thickness ज़्यादा होती है। वो तो criteria हुआ कि किसको thin बोलना है, किसको thick बोलना है। लेकिन difference क्या है? क्यों इनको अलग-अलग किया जा रहा है? So understand बेटा। Let's consider different points। हम इसके cross section में अलग-अलग points consider करते हैं। Let's consider different points in the cross section of the pressure vessel. ठीक है, इस cross section में अलग-अलग points consider करते हैं. If you apply internal or external pressure to this pressure vessel, at every point the stresses will be different. The stresses will vary from the inner surface to outer surface. There will be variation of stresses from inner surface to outer surface means the stresses will not be constant. इस पूरे cross section में stresses constant नहीं रहेंगे, उसकी value inner surface से outer surface तक vary करेगी, okay? But if the thickness is very small, अगर बहुत कम thickness का pressure vessel है, then I can assume that the stresses are almost constant throughout the thickness. यानी inner surface से outer surface तक stresses almost constant हैं. That is the difference between a thin and a thick pressure vessel. 
तो आपने अभी तक जो चीजें सोची दैट दिस इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन थिन एंड थिक दैट वन स्ट्रेस इज नेग्लेक्टेड और द थिकनेस इज लेस थिकनेस इज मोर दैट इज नॉट द एक्चुअल डिफरेंस Why we are putting them into different categories? अगर इनको अलग अलग कैटेगरी में रख रहे हैं मतलब देर मस्ट बी समथिंग डिफरेंट इन देर एनालिसिस सो वट इज डिफरेंट इन देर एनालिसिस इन केस ऑफ थिक प्रेशर वेसल देर विल बी वेरिएशन इन स्ट्रेसेस फ्रॉम इनर सर्फेस टू आउटर सर्फेस अंदर से बाहर अगर आप जाओगे तो स्ट्रेसेस की वैल्यू चेंज होगी बट इफ यू कंसिडर अ थिन प्रेशर वेसल यू कैन नेग्लेक्ट दिस वेरिएशन एंड यू कैन अज्यूम दैट the stresses are almost constant now you might be thinking why do we assume this what is going to happen so understand beta if the stresses vary from inner surface to outer surface it becomes a little complicated to calculate the equation of stress stress ki equation derive karna thoda sa mushkil ho jata hai so in order to avoid that in case of thin pressure vessel we assume that the stresses are almost constant Throughout throughout the the thickness, inner surface to outer surface, to outer stresses are almost constant. So, due to this assumption, the derivation becomes very easy. Now, exactly what part of derivation will be easy, that I am going to tell you during the derivation. जब हम derivation करेंगे in case of thin pressure vessel, when we will do the derivation, you will understand this point exactly. आपको thin pressure vessel के derivation में ही समझ में आ जाएगा कि इस अजम्पन से क्या फायदा मिलता है दैट द स्ट्रेसेस आर ऑलमोस्ट कांस्टेंट। टेक्निकली द स्ट्रेसेस आर नॉट एक्जैक्टली कांस्टेंट। दे वैरी फ्रॉम इनर सरफेस टू एन आउटर सरफेस बट इन केस ऑफ थिन प्रेशर वेसल द थिकनेस इज सो लेस थिकनेस इतनी कम है कि उस वेरिएशन का इसके कैलकुलेशन पर बहुत ज्यादा असर नहीं पड़ता है सो दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ थिन एंड अ थिक प्रेशर वेसल सो आई होप यू गाइज हैव अंडरस्टूड इट इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इट and if you have liked this concept let me know in the live chat and beta those of you who are live right now why are you not giving the likes please hit the like button right now and let's start this chapter with a bang and share this link with all your friends sabko bula lo sabko bula lo sabko bula lo sabko bolo ki jaldi se aaye aur class join kare yes chaliye to beta in your syllabus aapke gate ke syllabus mein there is only thin pressure vessel But that doesn't mean that you don't need to study thick pressure vessel. If you are preparing for other exams other than gate, then you might come across thick pressure vessel. So that's why what I am going to do is I am going to cover both the pressure vessels. Okay, हम दोनों pressure vessels को cover करेंगे क्योंकि भरोसा नहीं है आप किसी और exam के लिए prepare करोगे तो thick pressure vessel पे question आएंगे gate में नहीं आएंगे लेकिन दूसरे exam में आ सकते हैं okay. It's time to experience something glorious. An academy combat. Compete, crack, conquer. A challenging gate contest engineered to give you an experience like none other where you put your knowledge to test and battle it out with the best to bring out the best in you. An academy combat is the most competitive gamified contest for gate till date with the best of the questions by best educators. with detailed video solutions from top educators right after each contest combat live with peers to get real time rankings and win big participate in every contest to improve your ratings challenging contests every fortnight or alternate sunday live ranking after every question big rewards for top rankers your passion to crack gate deserves this your hard work towards your dream deserves this fuel your inner fire for the ultimate gate challenge an academy combat register now